it is a representation of Q. Now in this cube, first part is vertex or in simple word corner. How many such corners are for one cube? Yes, eight corners are there. Second part, line like part joining the faces part is called edge. How many such edges are there for one cube? Twelve. And the plane square portion of the cube is called face. How many such faces are there for one cube? Six faces are there. Now such cubes if we arrange one after the other or one over the other we will get crystal structure. Now what we have to find out? If we take any corner, it is shared by how many total number of cubes. Same is the case for age, same is the case for face. Now one by one let us discuss. Now see one corner of the cube. This one corner can be shared by how many cubes? Now see this diagram. You will find that one corner is shared by total 8 cubes. So if any atom remain present at that corner, then it also will be shared between 8 cubes. Then what will be the share of one cube? Share of one cube will be 1 eighth. Means of the complete atom, only one eighth part will be towards one cube. Likewise, if you consider the age of the cube, that age of the cube can be shared by how many neighboring cubes, total neighboring cubes? Right, four cubes can share the age. So if any atom remains on the age, it will be shared by 4 cubes. Then what will be its share for 1 cube? 1 divided by 4 means 1 fourth cube. 1 fourth atom will belong to 1 cube. Now pay attention towards face. A face of the cube can be shared by one more cube because on one plane face, on plane surface, we can arrange maximum one more cube. So that face is shared amongst two cube. So if any atom remains present on the face of the cube, it has contribution due to two cubes. So how much portion of atom will belong to one cube? 1 divided by 2 means half a portion will belong to 1. Cubic arrangements of the crystals are divided into three parts. First one, simple cubic arrangement. Second, body centered cubic arrangement. And third one, face centered cubic arrangement. How can we understand simple cubic arrangement? If you read the diagram neatly, you will find atoms are at corners of the cube. Only corners of the cube. So how many atoms are represented there? Eight atoms are represented. Now see the second diagram. In that, in addition to the eight atoms at the corner, one more atom is there at center. If you note it clearly, you will find because of that one atom, now separation between atoms which were at corner increased. 
Now in third type, atoms are there at corners. In addition to that, atoms are there at center of the face. Each face center will be with one atom. Due to which what will happen? The atoms which were at the corner, they will separate further. What you are understanding? At the corner there are eight atoms and at center of face there is one atom. Now let us calculate in reality how many atoms do belong to unit cell of simple cubic pattern. As is noted in the above diagram, each atom at the corner has how much share to the cube? One eighth share. Such how many corners are there? Eight corners. So total number of atoms present in that cube will be 1 upon 8 into 8 is equal to 1. So though you are finding 8 atoms are there, but those are not complete. Part of the atom is there at every corner. Considering all parts, if you combine all parts, ultimately you will get only one atom. So what we say for a simple cubic arrangement? It has one atom. Maybe divided at different eight corners. Okay. Now see the second diagram. It is body centered cubic arrangement. So atoms are at corner. What is the share of the atom which is at the corner? 1 upon 8. How many such atoms are there? 8. So 1 upon 8 into 8. So it indicates one complete atom is there at corner. And one atom is there at center of the cube. And that atom has no share with other cube. It's solely, completely belonging to one cube. So what is its contribution for that cube? Complete one. So previous one plus this one is equal to two. Means what? Body centered cubic arrangement has two atoms belonging to one unit cell. Now see the last diagram. Face centered cubic arrangement. There, atoms are at corners. What is the share of the atom at the corner? 1 upon 8. Such how many atoms are there? 8. So 1 upon 8 into 8, total 1 will be the contribution for, from the atoms at the corner. In addition to these atoms, atoms are at center of face. And what is the contribution for the atom which is at center of face for one cube? It will be half. Such how many faces are there? Six. And at each face, at the center of each face, there is atom. So half into six is equal to three. So atoms at center of faces will contribute total three atoms and previously how many atoms were there who were existing at corner total one atom so one plus three is equal to four so in face centered cubic arrangement four atoms are belonging to one unit cell so what is the conclusion Simple cubic means total number of atoms, 1. Body-centered cubic means total number of atoms, 2. 
and face center cubic means total number of atoms four now if you see these diagrams neatly you will find gaps are present in those arrangements what is meant by those gaps how can we understand those gaps that we will see in next part called as study of voids Thank you.